I am a former Logitech G512 user and the reason why I'm making this video today is because I am using a very cheap mechanical keyboard right now as the Logitech G512 had uh, had double typing issues and I have a bottle of spirit right here which I used to use very frequently on the Logitech G512 as um, as it, it had double typing issues. So I bought the Thunder TGK 360 Hollow Warriors gadget. And this is a very cheap mechanical keyboard. It costs uh, 7,000 rupees in, in my, in my country. Um, uh, and uh, you can convert, uh, basically you can do the dollar conversion wherever you want to get an idea of how much this will cost. But this uses the blue Ultimo key, uh, Otimu switches. The Otimu switches are Otimu switches. I do not know the correct pronunciation. So Thunder is not a well-known brand, but according to their website, they appear to be, I don't know, don't know, supplying to these big brands. Uh, I'm not sure. But anyway, so the reason why I'm reviewing this keyboard is because I haven't seen any reviews of this keyboard anywhere. I, uh, a friend of mine, a very good friend of mine, in fact, uh, is uh, owns a computer shop. And I just, uh, I got the Logitech G512 from them and I said that, listen, this is giving me trouble, mate. I need to, I need a keyboard replacement, replace it with something else. And uh, even though it was under warranty, I... I mean, the, these these uh, uh, keyboard manufacturers, they're not going to be as precise of the clicks to get an idea of which cl which click is, which which uh, which uh, key is double double clicking. It, they, it was double clicking, though I know that for certain. Uh, and the keys were a bit wobbly as well. Only a few of them, by the way. So the Logitech G512, that is expensive keyboard. I, I ditched that for a cheap, very cheap keyboard. And now let me show you the website of this keyboard. So this is the keyboard. This is called the Thunder uh, TGK. It's called the Thunder TGK 360 Hollow Warriors gadget. So this is what it is. And this is using the blue Otomo switches. And this is how it looks like. So unfortunately, I cannot uh, show you show show this to you inside of a it, it, like in, in, in landscape view, but I can show it to you like this. So this is how it looks like. You can see that this keyboard looks pre uh, premium, but uh, I mean, it's not, it's very cheap plastic. In fact, it's a, uh, compared to the Logitech G512. This keyboard is, um, uh, is not very good as far as the, as far as the, uh, overall build quality is. In fact, the back plate, you can actually press it and it kind of presses down as well. So, uh, I mean, by, by the build, uh, build quality is not good at all. But my God, this keyboard and the keycaps are good. The key, the keycaps are not wobbly. So if I press down, they're not, they're not wobbly. So that means that the keys are precise, but they come at a cost of your little finger, your little finger and, uh, your other, fi other fingers, probably the ring finger getting a little bit stressed if you type for a very long period of time. And that's because they don't really have that wiggle room that the Logitech G512 has. One other thing that people do not show, which I would like to show in this review is the key caps. And most people don't show them so this is the this is what the keycaps look like and i'm just trying to pull this out this is how the keycaps looks like this is the blue otimu key keycap so you can see how it looks like it's right there this is how it looks like it has a cross basically i think the mx switches are going to are basically going uh, any ms keycaps are going to basically work with this and this is how the keycap looks like from from underneath so you can see that this is how it looks like and it, it, its quality is actually better. The keycap quality, and uh, just the printing is not good, but the overall quality is actually pretty good. So yeah, so that's basically it. And uh, my review of this keyboard is that it, it's working better than the Logitech G512 for whatever reason. Uh, it's not as smooth as the Logitech G512, but definitely functional. If you're looking for a functional keyboard and not a keyboard that is very fancy, doesn't have a lot of, uh, doesn't have a lot of, um, you know, cool things going on for it, then this is basically the keyboard that I suggest if you're, if you're on a budget. One thing to note is that since this is, ch this is cheap, right? Uh, some of the keys are not 
printed well. I did not show this to you, but the, uh, but the caps lock is not printed well on this. It, it, you can tell that this is really a cheap, a cheap keyboard. And, um, like I stated, um, uh, you can actually press down on this and it'll actually bend. So this is something the caps lock key. I'm not, I'm not sure whether you can see it or not, but it's not, it's not well printed. The caps lock key is not well printed. And so, but it sounds very good. Uh, you've already, I mean, my, I, I've got noise canceling over here, so you'll probably not be able to hear it, but I'll try to, uh, make you hear this, uh, hear this. So I'm typing right now and this is how. So this is how it sounds like it's loud it's quite loud it's uh it's louder than the louder than the logitech g512 which had the had the blue switches there's one thing though that you can hear the spring of this keyboard when the when when you lift when you lift your finger you can hear the spring of this keyboard adjusting and that is that is just a very that's the nature of the otmo blue switches so this happens anyway so i hope you enjoyed this interview i recommend this keyboard if you if you are looking if you're on a budget 7,000 rupees, 7,000 Pakistan rupees, not that much for a mechanical keyboard. And yeah, it's good. It's very good. It's functional. It's hurting this finger of mine slightly, just a bit, this one. And, um, uh, it's probably because they don't, these keys have no wiggle room. Like they're, they're like, you have to press them right as they are. And, uh, yeah, but it's more functional and it, I feel safer with this keyboard. Uh, with the G512, I was, was like, uh, this keyboard will break. This keyboard will break. Not this one. Thank you for watching this video. If you wish to support me, please check out the links in the description. You can, uh, order a video game from me i am a video game developer and if you want a game developer please do contact me that's one way you can support me or if you want to become a freelance game developer or interested in becoming a freelance game developer consider buying my course or you can click any of the affiliate links that you see in the uh, in, in 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 the description and that is going to help me as well thank you very much